Ladies and gentlemen, ADS Play 101 here. Welcome to the Pokemon Unite test server where we're going to be taking a quick look at Gyarados coming soon to Aos Island. All right, now Gyarados is a attack melee all-rounder and he doesn't evolve the way others do. Now, first off, as he evolves from Magikarp, Magikarp doesn't have any boosted attacks, but it does do AoE basic attack damage. So... But when it evolves into uh, Gyarados, every third attack becomes a boosted attack dealing increased damage. It's passive, rattled, and please ignore the thumbnails. They didn't update it on the test server, so I know it looks weird. Rattled, when he gets hit, his movement speed increases, and his effect can stack up to, t up to five times. And when he knocks out a Pokemon, uh, a wild Pokemon scores a goal or makes any type of contribution to a battle, the gauge underneath his health gauge is called the effort gauge and it increases and when it's filled up he evolves into Gyarados. His first two moves that he starts off with is Flail and Splash. Splash is pretty much a dash. It allows him, he can keep up a maximum stock of three and it allows him to jump to or away from a certain area and Flail does AoE damage in a small circle and the less health he has the more damage it does. Now, underneath his health gauge, you see that he has what's called the effort gauge. And anytime you score a goal, attack, do damage, take damage, um, it fills up. And once it fills up, he evolves into Gyarados. So the first two moves we're going to be taking a look at is Dragon Breath and Waterfall. Dragon Breath fires a shot of Dragon Breath on the line, and he gains attack speed based on how many... Uh, Pokemon are hit as you notice right there his attack speed goes up a pretty good amount Now this is only when he hits two now if, if I were to hit both that's only when he hits one target if he hits two that speed goes up quite a bit try to get there you go so th that attack speed stacks up to three at the moment I don't know if they're going to change it in the main game but as you notice that his attack speed goes up quite a bit. But with Waterfall, he activates it, he dashes in the direction, and he gets two additional dashes. The third one uh, gives him a shield, and he knocks the target up into the air. So let me just take the cooldowns off so you can see it one more time. Dash, go left, right. And you can go in any direction that you want to. So the next two moves we're going to be looking at is Aqua Tail and Bounce. Aqua Tail is a move that if you press it one time, you know, obviously it goes on cooldown, but the thing is you want to hold the button down and max out his tails. I believe he shoots out five tails before he gets the second stage of the attack, which is a charge attack. So, one, two, three, four, five. Then he gets the second stage, which is a charge move. You charge it up, and he shoots out water in an area of effect in a 100 degree, 180 degree uh, radius. So do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Does a lot of damage. All right. Next up, we're going to use bounce. Now bounce jumps him in a direction. Which how depending on how long you hold the button down, it's going to launch him in a certain direction. He's going to jump farther and further. And that's pretty much where how he, I guess he's going to catch people. This is, this is like his ultimate chase move. They try to get away too far. Or you're trying to just jump into the middle of a of a fight. He gains a shield. And it bounces him up. Right there. Now his Unite move. He goes underground. He charges up. And he does a giant tornado whirlpool. Out the ground. I want to see if anything happens. As you see right there, that's stage one. That's stage two. And stage three is like a big whirlpool that knocks everybody up. So I'm assuming it's going to be times when going into stage two is going to be is going to be helpful for the moment. But obviously, you know, ideally you want to charge it up max 
So that was my quick overview of Gyarados and the Pokemon Unite test server. Please keep in mind these are not the final versions of the character and they will more than likely have changes uh, when they enter the main game. But from what I'm seeing, I like it. So hopefully you guys are hyped for Gyarados like I am. See you guys on Aeos Island.